Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to explain how I've been able to make a gold cap only selling transmog and cosmetic items in the past month and also how I've been able to kind of build a real empire around all these different items. So for those of you who are not really familiar with cosmetic items, basically these are all the different transmog items that anyone can use. It means that the only requirement that you will have for these items is usually the level requirement. Other than that, you can use these items on any of your characters, whether it is cloth or plate, mail or leather. So these items are really interesting because as everyone can use them, there is a huge demand and so in many cases you will be able to sell them very fast. And also keep in mind that which with patch 10.0.5, all the different grey and white quality items and also some blue items such as for instance the different uh, monocles that you can craft with jewel crafting, can now be used as a transmog items and so with patch 10.0.5 all these different markets have just received a big increase in value and in interest and so this is why starting with patch 10.0.5 I decided to really invest a lot of time in all these different items and I really wanted to get my hands on as many items as possible. So I've really been able to make a lot of gold since the release of patch 10.0.5 and my strategy was pretty straightforward and what I want to do in today's video is really just explain how I've been able to build this little empire and how you can also try to do the same and then just go through all my different cells in order to show you what are some of the best cosmetic items you can try to farm or craft and how you can also make some gold with all these different items. So just after the release of patch 10.0.5, my main objective was getting my hand on all the different rare patterns and plants from Cataclysm and also from other expansions, with which you can then craft some very valuable cosmetic and transmog items. So for instance, the ones that I really tried to focus on were the patterns for the Ice Society Top Hat and the design for the Rhinestone Sunglasses. These are extremely rare, and until patch 10.0.5, you could only get it when killing some world bosses and these different designs and plants where binds went picked up, so you couldn't find them on the auction house. But again, with patch 10.0.5, Blizzard decided to change that and you can now sell and buy them through the auction house. And also they increased the drop rate from these different items, so it's easier to get them. So what I did was just going through Oribos Exchange and the Undermine Journal and really try to find one realm where I could find these items for a very cheap price. And I found one realm where I was able to find both of these plants and patterns for 1 million gold each, which is really, really cheap, especially when you consider it was like one month ago. And then I simply transferred some gold on this main realm. And then I bought these different plants and recipes. I also bought, bought for instance, the ones for the different monocles. And what I did was then on this realm, I learned these two uh, plants and recipes on one character I created in order to leave some items on this first realm. And so like that, I could already pay back some of the like money I had to spend on these two uh, items. And it was very successful because I was able to sell quite a lot of items on this realm. And then using the different water tokens that you can buy through the auction house, I simply purchased through the shop some of these character transfers here i would always recommend you to use the bundle of six because like that you will be able basically to have one character transfer for 300k gold on european realms but it's a little bit cheaper on north american realms and so really it's very easy to then just pay back for that just by selling some of the items and making a lot of profit so then what i did was just transferring back this character to my main realm where I already have many professions unlocked and many rare plants and recipes learned. So for instance, I was able uh, there to craft a lot of the different rare cosmetic items such as the rhinestone sunglasses from Dragonflight, also some over cosmetic items from Classic Quo. For instance, you have uh, some of these authentic uh, engineer goggles. You also have like all these green cosmetic items uh, from Shadowlands. and many other transmog items in general such as for instance the legendaries from Shadowlands and also the Felsi long blades and other items that I knew I could then sell on multiple realms for a lot of gold. Then after that the next step was simply crafting a lot of these different items, sending everything on one level 10 allied race and then once I had my different banks completely full 
I would just try to target specific realms where I knew the market was good, so especially role-playing realms and full pop realms, things like that. And then I just transfer back some of these characters on all these different realms in order to then start selling all these cosmetics on all these other realms. So like that, I was able to go on multiple markets just by crafting everything at once on one single realm. Then the second step was really trying to find all the different rare cosmetic and transmog items and especially the ones that are removed from the game. So for instance, you have these lovely dresses, the dinner suits, you have the ruby shades and many others in order to then buy them for a very cheap price on these realms and transfer them back using again the different character transfer paid by the war tokens to some of these main realms where I knew these items would sell for a lot of gold. So for instance, here uh, I have uh, the formal dengue, this is a really good example. This is a very rare item that you can get when buying it from a vendor in Moonglade and probably this item is only available once every 4 months per realm, so this is very difficult to get your hands on that. And for some reasons I was able to find two of them for 150k only on one realm. So I bought them and I bought a couple of other dresses and dinner suits and other items. And then I transfer back that on my main realm where I'm selling all these different cosmetics. And as you can see, in not even just a few days, I was able to sell both of these items for 1 million gold each. So really, really good profit. And again, it goes to show you how easy it is to cover the cost of the different character transfer and also of the original investment. Then, of course, I did that with many different types of items. So as I mentioned, I also have, for instance, these uh, ruby shades also removed from the game some of these uh, jungle ads and all these other items that are either removed from the game, such as the black tuxedo pants, or that are very difficult to get, such as, again, the formal dink. So this is really, for me, also one very important step because you want to get your hands on all these rare items because, again, the market is always going to have a demand for them and these items are always going to go rarer and rarer because they have been removed from the game or they are things very difficult to get. So this is really for me what also made me uh, like a lot of profits simply because again there is a big demand for all these items and when you are able to flip them from a very cheap price and transfer them back on the realm where you know you will be able to sell them for a huge price you can then really make a lot of gold with just one or two character transfer. And as you can see for instance on this main realm I still have plenty of these different crafted items and all these different other unobtainable cosmetic and transport items so I will definitely be able to make some sales for the next few months and so this is really something that will always make me some gold. And keep in mind for instance for all these different top ads and everything, most of the time you can only spend like maybe 1k gold in order to craft one and then you can sell them for sometimes more than 20-30k gold. So really all these items are very profitable and I know that I will be able to sell them for a long period of time on all these different realms. And really, I want to insist on the fact that it's very important to try and diversify all the different items you're crafting and selling and also the different realms where you are selling all these items on because if you are focusing only on one realm, of course you will be less efficient than if you're trying to sell these items on multiple realms. For instance, here as you can see, this is another realm. I've been able to again sell a lot of these different items and I still have like hundreds of these items available. So again, pray for the rest of the year, I will be able to still keep selling some of these cosmetics and transmog items and make a lot of gold regularly just by doing one of these transfers. And finally, the third step, which is very simple and this is something you can do very easily on any realm, is simply tracking all these different rare cosmetic and transmog items and buying them and selling them back on any realm, so not trying to transfer them on another realm. And like that, you can also make quite a lot of profit just by, again, flipping these different items on the same realm. So here, as you can see, on one of my low pop realms, I bought some of these uh, black dresses. And as you can see, I always, already sold one for 150k gold when I bought it for 30k gold. So definitely, it's also a good way for you to make some gold. If you don't want to have all these different character transfers and you don't want to switch realms, you can still try sometimes to find some good auctions and to also make a lot of gold just by flipping these rare cosmetic items. So now let's go through my sales just so you can see what exactly I've been able to sell and for what price sometimes you can try and sell some of these cosmetic and transmog items. And keep in mind, I've already been able to sell some of these items. For instance, here, as you can see, some of these high society top hats sold some of them uh, for 20k gold on average. So that's already really good. But really, I just want to show you what I've been able to sell 
and again, which are the items that are the most interesting. So here for the first 100 auctions, of course, you have some very interesting items. So of course, as I mentioned just before, you have the two formal dengues. I've been very lucky with these two, selling them each for 1 million gold. Right now, some people just decided to undercut the market because people sometimes are not really that smart and think that just by selling something for half the price, it will sell faster, which in some cases is true. For instance, right now, I'm not going to undercut, so definitely they will get this sell. But still, I feel like this is not really the right move because you're just going to end up having less profit and also ruining a little bit the market sometimes. So still, I've been able to make a lot of gold and I still have three more to sell. So hopefully I'll be able to make three more millions with these different formal dengues. Then of course you have all the different hot, uh, the different uh, hats that you can craft with tailoring. So these ones are also really, really good. And I've been selling a lot of these. Keep in mind, for these ones, it's only 1k gold or 1k5 in order to craft one of these hats. So as you can see, you can really make a lot of profits by crafting a lot of these. Same with the different monocles. I sold like a couple of these. It's a little bit slower, but still, again, you can make at least 15, 16,000 gold profits per monocle. Then you have all the different rhinestones and glasses. The ones from Dragon Fight are these ones and usually you need to spend maybe 3k uh, on these ones so it's a little bit more expensive and then for the other ones it's also going to be around like 4k gold but as you can see you can sell them for on average 20k gold which is really really good and then i have of course all the different uh, lovely dresses so right now the value decreased a little bit because there are just a lot of people selling them on this specific realm but i've been able to make really a lot of sales and so that's really really good same with the different dinner suits. So here, as you can see, this one for 187,000 gold, which is extremely good. Then I have like a few more items that are not really uh, related to cosmetics or transmogs. For instance, the strange goop. Here you have some of these plans for the uh, black dragon touch hammer. This is also something I've been able to make a lot of gold with. Uh, here you have one of the Eric BOEs from the Vault of the Incarnate Raid. But still, next to that, most of the items I've been able to sell are cosmetic and uh, transmog items. Uh, here, for instance, one of the rare maces that you can not get anymore, but you can sometimes find for a cheap price on the auction house. And so this is really it for the first hundred auctions. Also, I really want to bring the attention of this crown of the radius. These items are extremely, extremely easy to craft. Uh, this is from Shadowlands. And you have four like green cosmetic items that you can craft and these are all really good. For instance, the Crown of the Radius, you can craft it with uh, ancient, uh, with Dual Crafting. Then you have the Fey Rebel Mask. This one, you can craft it with Inscription. Then the Pink Party Hat, you can craft it with Tailoring. And finally, you have this one here, the Red Nogging Candle. And this time, this is with Alchemy. All these ones are extremely good. And on most realms, you will be able to sell them for quite a lot of gold. And they cost absolutely nothing to craft. And it's extremely easy to get the recipes. I will post a link in the description of a video I made on these different uh, transmog that you can get and how you can craft them. So let me just take all of that and then we'll see what I have for the remaining 180 oceans. So then for the next 100 auctions, I still have 1,700,000 gold in sales. So here again, it's going to be a lot of these different uh, top hats. So as you can see, I have 420k gold worth of top hats. Uh, same with the different rhinestone sunglasses, uh, 300k gold worth of the sunglasses. And then, of course, you have the monocles, really good as well. And finally, the different lovely dresses. So as you can see, I was even like sometimes able to sell some for 200k gold. And really, as you can see, you are able to buy them for a very cheap price on average. And then, of course, you also have sometimes the dinner suits and other items. So here, mostly these are all the different items I've been able to sell. I also have like a few of the different uh, Shadowlands legendaries, so these are always great to have as well. Uh, and again, I have a few of these different Crown of the Radius, really good again, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let me get this and then let's see what I have for the last 100 auctions. Then for almost the last 100 auctions, I have another million and 200k gold. So here it's really going to be always the same uh, 700k gold worth of high society top hats. So these ones are always really, really good. And then of course, you're going to have the regular uh, rhinestone sunglasses and the monocles and all of that. So I'm not really going to spend too much time on that. I don't think I have any big sales uh, over than that. Let me just check here. 
but I don't think yeah, I was able to really sell anything else uh, worth a lot. So let me just get that. And yeah, finally, we just have a few more of the Shadowlands legendaries, the top hats, and the sunglasses. But that's really pretty much it. So in total, as you can see, I was probably able to make like around like 8 millions. And of course, you want to remove a few items that were not cosmetic. So probably like around 7 millions. And as I mentioned, I have overwhelms where I'm also selling all these different items. So in total, really, I was able to make almost like a gold cap in one month, only selling all these different cosmetic and transmog items. So for those of you who think it's not possible to make some gold with these items, it is definitely possible. One very important tip again is if you want to start making a lot of gold with these different cosmetic and, and like transmog items, you want to try and focus role playing realms or maybe high and full pop realms because these are really the realms where you will have the most demand for this type of items. Of course, full pop realms and high pop realms are always a little bit more competitive, so you will have to spend a bit more time on the auction house. But it's still better if you want to make some profit with all these different items. You can always also make some gold on low and medium pop realms. It's just going to take a little bit more time. So again, I would always recommend you to diversify a little bit and try to sell these type of items on different type of realms. But really, the ones that are role-playing are usually going to be the most interesting ones. And of course, just before I end this video, I want to insist on the fact that it's not always successful. I had a few realms where I migrated maybe 400 items and I was not really able, even after one week, to sell even like just a few. Uh, so sometimes, again, you will have some realms where unfortunately people won't be pretty interested and so unfortunately it might not work that well. Again. These are items that will always sell, so you can just leave them there. Or you can also decide to use another character transfer and transfer them back on another realm. What you can also always do in order to make sure people are aware that these items are actually up on the auction house and that they can use it as a transmog item is just to use the trade chat and you can just advertise. Maybe, you know, sometimes I just say, for instance, that these type of items are available on the auction house and then generally after that I have a lot of sales because people probably don't even know that these are no cosmetic items and that they can actually use them as a transmog. So try to do that and sometimes you will boost a little bit your sales. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will enjoy the video and I hope you will be able also to maybe replicate some of these things and to make some gold with some of these items. Keep in mind, of course, it's always a little bit competitive and you will need to try and diversify the type of items you're selling and also the number of realms you're selling these items on. But overall, I was really happy to try and make some sales with these items and I really don't regret investing in some of these patterns and plans because keep in mind, I will now be able to sell them until, well, whenever World of Warcraft will stop. And so this is really an investment in the long term that I already covered, but still something that I think is really good at the moment. I will be back very soon with more videos and more guides. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great first day. Bye.